Hi, second graders. I have an amazing collection of poems. I'm going to read just a few of the poems to you. And it is called Butterfly Eyes and Other Secrets of the Meadow. It's written by Joyce Sidman. She's an amazing children's poet. And it's illustrated by Beth Crohn's. So the uh, invitation I want to give to you is that as you are listening to me read the few poems I've selected, really look at how the poems are written and notice the line breaks and notice the repetition. I also want you to notice that each of the poems ha end with a question or end with a kind of a mystery and, and because each poem is about a specific animal or a plant in the meadow and try to figure out who or what is actually speaking and if you will, writing the poem. All right, I'll talk to you soon, enjoy. Morning warming. Sun, sun warm, sun warm on back, sun warm on back legs, sun warm on back legs loosens, my heart, my heart beats, my heart beats faster, in sun warm, my heart beats faster, I flex, I flex legs, I flex legs loose with sun warm, I drink dew from dripping leaves, I beat, flex, crouch, leap, what am I? Shh, they are sleeping. Shh, they are small. Shh, they are many. Shh, in a heap they lie soundly asleep. Soft is their fur, soft are their noses. Soft is the curl of their grassy nest keep. Eyes not quite open, ears in a tangle. Paws folded close beneath whisker and chin. Shh, they are hidden. Shh, they are waiting, gathering strength for their life to begin. What are they? Sap. Song, I go up, I go down, from the roots to the crown, like a twin set of tubes fetching water and food. In each stem that you see, there's a little of me. Up and down, like an ant, I'm the veins of the plant. What am I? Letter to the sun. Dear sun, it's so wet. The meadow has turned to bog, chill, sinking, squishy sog. We long for your face, sun. We crave your rays, those long, lovely, honey-colored days. Oh, dear sun, we're huddled in our buds, waiting to bloom. Please come soon. The only ones still singing are the frogs. Signed, Ultraviolet. The eyes of these flies see more than we see. They love scarlet, adore pink, thrive on orange, lap up yellow with long curled tongues. But their favorite, extra special, secret color sprinkled on tiny wing scales like valentines and painted on the most delectable blossoms like bullseyes that we can't see because our eyes are not theirs, is ultraviolet. What are they? If you guessed butterfly, you were right. What's really fun about this book is that uh, cushioned between the poems is some nonfiction informational text about the different plants and animals that live in a meadow. And so this is a section about milkweed and butterflies. Milkweed is best known for its fluff-filled seed pods, but it is actually named for its milky sap, which is toxic to most insects and animals. Monarch butterflies are immune to these toxins and lay their eggs on the plant's leaves, which provide food for the newly hatched caterpillars. By munching on milkweed, monarch caterpillars, and later butterflies, become bitter tasting and even poisonous to most predators, which have learned to avoid them. Butterflies serve a vital role as pollinators of meadow flowers. To attract them, Flowers such as daisies and coneflowers are colored with eye-catching 
ultraviolet patterns that surround their pollen-filled centers. We can't see these patterns, but butterflies can. They have one of the widest ranges of color vision in the animal world. For them, ultraviolet colors, which also show up on their wings and help them identify each other, are like a secret language. Always together. We tumble, we twitter, we dip, float, and flitter. On thistle, we rustle and whistle and bustle. Dip dodging, leapfrogging, we're birds of a feather. Like ripples, like petals, like clouds in wet weather. Like bright chips of sunlight flung skyward forever. We're always, we're always, we're always together. What are we?